Hi, what happens if you have a lot of pictures to load, very big pictures to load, pictures to load in parallel, you want to improve the speed of the generation while loading a lot of pictures? Well, we have a solution for that. Imagine that you're on an opportunity and your product, all of your products have a certain product picture. These product pictures come from or the internet, maybe they are linked to your Salesforce, all of those use cases we can support. We just need a URL to that specific picture. You can of course add that URL here directly uh, in, the, uh, in, in, the, in the data of the record, but you can also add that uh, URL dynamically via Apex. In this case, we pay, take the easy route and we just take the URL from a field in the, uh, in the record, in the uh, product record, as you can see. Okay, so now when I click this button here, a document will generate and this document at this moment has no pictures. So you see that we're selecting all of the uh, products that are, uh, sorry, all of the uh, opportunity lines that are linked to this opportunity and that we want to show now here in this gray box, a picture for every uh, opportunity line. How we go about that? I've set up an, uh, a document config already and did all of the simple stuff like uh, just uh, putting in all of the merge fields and now I want to put in the dynamic picture loading that we want for this use case. Let's go to our uh, data source. On my data source I click the plus and you would have this button add a dynamic picture to data source. You will only see this button if you have that specific license it's an add-on product as, uh, as indicated. If you have that specific license, you will get this button shown on the screen. If you click it, it's a very simple one. You're gonna just uh, give it a name to the data source saying uh, product pictures. Uh, you select the ID field. So we need to know for every picture to which uh, uh, parent it is linked. So I select the uh, product ID here. Um, that's my parent uh, record. And I'm gonna select the URL where this picture resides. So this is the URL where my picture resides. Okay, click the okay button. That's one part of the uh, configuration. The second part of the configuration, we have to go to the document. Uh, and as you can see here, we have this gray box and this gray box, we all know that this has also a uh, merge field linked to it. So this merge field, we now have to indicate that it should replace this gray box with the actual picture of our uh, motors and our products. I go to my row for the product. So I'm looping through every product. I just add here a type product of course, a picture of course. Now I'm just gonna call this uh, product picture and take my data source product pictures, of course, it already knows it. There's only one picture data source in this case. I'm gonna say that the merge field is prod pick and then I'm gonna scale it. I want my height to be fixed. So it will dynamically scale the width to uh, have always the perfect uh, uh, resolution and always the perfect uh, scaling for your, uh, for your image. So um, the ratio I wanted to say, perfect ratio for your image. Uh, okay, seems like this is all what we need. I save my uh, uh, configuration. Let's take a look now. I will click now the button and regenerate the document. It will take all of the pictures that are required. And here is my document. As you can see, all of my pictures now nicely retrieved by their URL and shown uh, linked related to my product.